Welcome to Vintage Coin App Restorations. This is Pamco's Major League. Uh, as you guys might know, there were two versions, in fact, I think even three versions of this game uh, that were made. There was the original that uh, had some issues, and they say within like 30 to 40 days, the original uh, game was pulled because it uh, had a problem with uh, uh, the whole batter up issue. And uh, from there, you had two mod two other models. One was called number 40 and the other one 44. I'm going to guess that this one is the second model. Uh, I believe it would be number 44. Um, there are some pictures on the Pinball Internet uh, database that show a, um, a large plate here in the front that, sh that actually says Major League but uh, and with the instructions inserted into this uh, kind of nice chrome uh, uh, holder for both of these uh, cards. We're missing the one here on the right. This one looks almost identical to the one that we had uh, probably last spring. You could uh, find it on my videos. Uh, this is our second uh, Major League that we're going to do. We're just doing a quick walk around it. Uh, this machine uh, is definitely in uh, a little worse condition as our first one, but uh, we are definitely going to make it beautiful when it's done. We do have the original coin door and its lock. Uh, the pulls here are original. I'm not sure about the black rubber washer there. Uh, we'll have to detail and find out exactly if that was there on my other one. I can't remember. Uh, the brass handle uh, could be original. Not sure again. Uh, but that uh, that square plate is... Uh, that's not original either because the original was a chromed piece. And that just looks like a cut square piece of metal. Now let's walk around the cabinet. You're going to have your typical um, damage on the corners. Uh, this particular machine has not been restained or refurbished. This is all original. Something different than all the other ones I've seen. This is rear back door. Um, it is original to the machine because on the inside I can tell that uh, the machine was sprayed and when it was sprayed it had to go around it and uh, it is original. Uh, what they used this probably for was to access the battery for this machine at one time because it did run on a dry cell. Uh, we do have these bolts coming out of the sides. Uh, we do have the legs, uh, very unique legs uh, and uh, you'll see them in our next video on this machine. But I do not remember if they came out like that. I do believe it was the reverse. It was a uh, acorned uh, uh, bolt that went into the machine. We still have our, our typical gouges, scratches, and everything else on this cabinet. But uh, it is made out of uh, a solid birch. So it's just a matter of uh, pull scraping, sanding, and getting this thing back to its original shape. We also have uh, an original coin slide. And I'm not sure about this little cup here that they put here. I'm going to guess that it is not just by looking at it. It looks like someone's very well done uh, little handy sheet metal work. Um, my other one did not have this coin slot reject. So we'll have to see exactly what that's all about. The top rails are original but really banged up. So we are going to have to see what we could do to these to uh, restore them or maybe just take them off, replace them with some new rails. Well, to get access to this machine, in fact, when I'm looking at it right now, it's not even sitting flat. It's kind of pointed up. What you need to do is get inside the machine. And we'll open the door up. And the door, by the way, is an original door. It actually has someone's signature on here that I can't exactly make out. I was hoping maybe it might be a signature of Harry Williams who actually designed this machine. And let's see what we got in here. Here's a little latch hook that undoes that um, top piece. And we'll take that off right now. All right. Well. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that is an original piece back there, because look at that. You know, if you put a slug or something, like a penny or something, it would just reject it. 
and it does look like it's been press stamped so it's uh, maybe better than somebody's uh, handy sheet metal work so I might be wrong on that original shooter this is exactly the same one that we had before kind of a funky handle here in the front and uh, we'll have to get a little rubber bumper inside there okay uh, let's lift this thing up Well, it looks like at one time or another, someone did do some work. Might have uh, restored it a little bit here. Because I do see, it looks like someone maybe sandblasted some of these parts. Yeah, I'm going to assume that someone did do, do a little work on here to get it working again. Um, you got to love this. Someone took like an X-Acto knife and did some nice cutting out on this whole front part, which is a pretty key part. That's what uh, sets up the balls to uh, go, in, go into uh, the hopper to actually start the game. We got some uh, silver painted uh, tracks here. Uh, they were uh, all aluminum. It's either that or maybe someone recasted these. We got some uh, little handy sheet metal work there again. Rubber tire parts inside here. And. Uh, Maybe a little hammer chisel work over there, but uh, yeah, I could tell that it's been uh, it has been sandblasted in some spots here. Maybe that's one of the reasons why the ball is having a hard time getting here. Seems to be all there. Now, we'll lift this up and take a look on the inside. Well, there we go with another signature inside there. Okay, well, we got someone who was, uh, they did something here. They got themselves a little transformer in there that probably brings it down to 12 volt. If I remember, that's what we ended up using on our last machine was a 12 volt transformer. Um, they got a fusible link inside there, or a switch that you would actually get into from the back side. And as I said before, you know, I've never seen it with this open it, this little compartment in back but you can tell that this actually was original you can see the original black spring that was done and if you look really close there's actually some sticker in the back here you know, maybe we'll find out if this is the first version second and third and here's that little detail that I was talking about so I'm gonna put the bolts in there did a little hammer nail and now we got these giant bolts hanging out but uh, we'll have it put back the correct way. Underneath here we've got some little handyman solder work. You know, I particularly like to see all these nice and clean and if, if it's a wire connection we'll put some shrink tape on there and get it done right. Nothing that can't be taken care of and we'll make sure we do that. And we got a bag of uh, uh, some extra parts seems like it original cord well overall the machine is definitely restorable and uh, it should be another fun project I'm looking forward to it if you have a major league uh, that you need restored please give us a call if you have one that you'd like to sell we'd uh, love to purchase it from you uh, we're located in Chicago, Illinois. Our phone number is area code 630-624-7466. Thanks for watching, and look out for the next video on this Pamco's Major League.